Hey, YouTubians. Miss hmm. Coop, how are you? I am so happy to be here again and to share with you. Today, today's topic is going to be um, on a discussion I heard on the Dr. Berman show. There was a woman whose husband had told her that he um, was not happy in his marriage anymore and that he was thinking of leaving. And he basically told her that um, when he figures it out, he would be ready to leave. He basically said, you know, I'll let you know at the end of the month. I was in the car screaming because I was thinking to myself, <laughs> you're not sure whether you want to be in this marriage? Are you serious? I kept yelling into the radio as though they could hear me. You know, they couldn't. But I kept yelling into the radio, uh-uh, dismiss him. Don't wait around for him to dismiss you. Don't sit around and wait for him to tell you when he's ready to give you his determination as to whether or not he wants to stay in the relationship or not. Chuck his behind. Get rid of him. Surprise his behind. So, <laughs> anyway, um, a couple of days later, that same woman, they did a follow-up with that same woman. And, of course, you know, she was having some issues. And, again, she came back to give Dr. Berman a follow-up on the discussion. And, of course, the discussion went something like he had decided that he really didn't want to be in a relationship. Something had happened where the other shoe had dropped and he was ready to go. So, rather than to wait for the two weeks to go by, to tell her whether or not he was going to go or whether he was going to stay. He dropped the other shoe right then and there. I'm leaving. Luckily for him, she had had an opportunity to get herself ready for what it was that he was going to present to her. And I think subconsciously, she had it in her mind, if this fool decides he's going to leave, I'll be happy for him to go. But I really wanted her to, to arrive at that decision initially. If his behind wanted to go, I'm going to help you out the front door. Okay. Again, that's how uh, Miss Coop is. I don't, I don't stand around waiting for the other shoe to drop. I take action. It may not always be the right decision, but it's the right decision for me. Okay. So um, that was just... That was just something that I wanted to share to share with you. Let me know what you think. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. What's, what's going on with that hair? Oh, y'all like my hair? Check it out. Let me, you know, I kind of like it. I've been doing this for about a month now. And of course, y'all know how I feel about wigs. And it's just an accessory, just like these earrings I have. Well, honey, I can take it off and put it on, you know, whenever I feel like it. I've been hanging with this because it's more like my own natural hair. Okay, as you can see, I got to take care of those grays. Anyway, um, somebody had even suggested if I put it behind my ears, it would probably look really cute. So, there's the look for behind my ears. Check it out. What? Y'all getting that? I'm going to give you another side view. What? You getting that? Anyway. Now, there are some people out there that when I leave for work, and I know that you guys follow me, I always sing my Carol Burnett show, so I'm going to, my Carol Burnett show song, so I'm going to sing it for you now. And I'm going to say what I always say at the end when I'm walking out the front door. Those of you who follow my vids will know what I'm talking about. I'm so glad we had this time together Just to have a laugh or sing a song Seems we just got started and before you know it Comes the time we have to say so long Don't forget to watch that show, Keeping Up With Miss Coop. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.